Hey everyone, welcome to Harrowby Work. I'm running the same Kushinata team as my other video. I have 80% skill bind resist in here and it's almost essential in this dungeon unless you're really good and I don't think I'm that good. So that's what I'm running with. I don't have a lot of options because Hera has a light absorb and a lot of the skill bind resist are light subs. So starting off with, with the centaurs, they hit pretty hard. You don't have a lot of room to screw around, but there is some delicate uh, necessity to charging turns. When they get below 30%, they'll do a really weak attack before a heavy one, and eliminating one centaur will cause the other one to use the bone force, which is an attack boost. So I can drag out the turns a bit if I time my damage right. I want to eliminate one of the centaurs here if possible, unless I can heal in time. I don't have a whole lot of heal orbs to do that with, and I also don't have too many orbs to deal damage with. I missed that heal there. Hopefully I had a skyfall. Might be able to take one of these guys out. Okay, that's good. So we got Lone Force on one of them. Oh, I'm running out of space here. Uh, let me pause this for a second. Okay, I'm back. So I think what I was saying was I need to get this guy into at least Lone Force. Oh, I'm sorry, he is in Lone Force. I need to get him to below 30%. Okay, that'll kill him. That's better, I suppose. Next up is Alrune. She'll heal you heal you to full, so it's not really necessary to heal up before going into her. She's kind of a pain. Every turn she will turn your heal orbs into green. So you really don't have any opportunity to recover if you don't have a hard orb maker, unless you get lucky with the sky falls. Low 50% she will bind all your subs for 2-4 to four turns or so. And below 30%, she'll start hitting for 15k, and she'll stop. She'll stop eating up your recovery orbs, but she hits so hard you don't want to keep her around that HP threshold very long. And it's also a pain because usually you're stuck with just your two leaders to deal damage. So ideally, maybe one or two shotting her. It's safe to eat a hit because going into the next round, it's Hades, and he has like a six-turn timer. has some really good drops there, so I don't have to worry about her. But that also means I have less turns on my charge. I do want a heavy Echidna up to use on Hades. It's best to use it as soon as possible, uh, just because the amount of turns left over will probably have her charged back up again in time for Hera or even Levi Leviathan if you need it. So I have a few options here. I could try setting up my board for a bigger combo. But it's kind of hit and miss with Kushinata. I mean, I could set up a 9 combo in 2 turns, and it really wouldn't... It may not be better than just having 2 solid combos on each turn. For someone like Anubis, that may be a better option, because he's pretty much reliant on that high combo for his multiplier. Kushinata's is more of a ramping situation. So pay attention to these recovery orbs and the fire orbs, how they cascade with the dark ones as well. That's a good way to to lay things out without having to completely align them up on a match for that first pairing. So the recovery orb sitting on top of the red, those will match, the dark orbs will fall on top of it. In that case it didn't because I had a cascade from above, but it would have had the same effect. And decent combo there. I don't think I'll do any board setup here. It's usually not worth it, and I usually end up screwing it up and wasting more turns than I really need to. Now the cascade with the green ones. Once I get them down into light, it'll make doing damage a little bit easier. If I were to set up the board, it would be at that point that I would, I would do so uh, to maximize the damage from my dark subs. Nice 
screwed that one up. Okay, I'll be good now up. I'm gonna use her. Three more free turns, and I'll have at least, well, I'll have at max six additional charges on her, and I should have her up to use her again later. guy can be pretty tough with Kushinata. Uh, usually static multiplier is easier to get him down. Just because she takes so much to have a consistently high multiplier. And unfortunately Kushinata's shield won't take his attack. If I were clever I'd try to squeeze in a golden keeper or something for that dark absorb or then a toast for the light absorb. But since I'm pretty restricted to having that skill bind resist, I'd rather just try to kill him before needing any of that. It just sucks that they don't let you be that creative, because only 50% on each awakening is just super low. I'll speed things up a bit here with the damage. I need three dark orbs, so hopefully I can take advantage of those. Uh, doesn't want to get into those cascades. Still some decent damage. I should have Yomi up uh, by the last turn if I need to use her. I only need one for the boss, so I'll use it if I need it. And I'll probably need it. So let's do what we can here. as good as I can do. I did get that cascade with the red orb, that would be helpful. Let's see if this works. Okay, I got him. Okay, and a resisted skill bind, great. It's pretty much a gamble with that. Uh, it's 80% success rate, but it really sucks to rely on that gamble. It is possible to kill him without needing any skills, but in most cases, I won't be able to do it. I'd get too anxious. That's a decent start. He has his 2.5k attack. Uh, each turn it'll do more damage. Next is 5k followed by 10k. Then 20, then 100k, and at that point you're screwed unless you can kill him. I can use Kushinata's shield for the 20k attack. The 100k I have no shot. But... Alright, there's a 5k attack. Apologies for the time gap, but I had something come up. Uh, just to remind myself where I was, I just got hit by his 5k hit. Um, I do have two turns on Echidna, so that's good. Um, if I use Kushinata on his second hit, I should be able to survive it, because the one after this is a 10k, followed by a 20k. So that'll give me two turns to use her if I need it. Hopefully I won't. Um, looks like I may have a decent board here. So let's give this combo a shot and see what happens. I screwed that up. Okay, there's his 10k. He's pushing out of here. Hopefully I can take him out. 
not screw this one up. So it's kind of jarring losing your pace and your group of things. Okay, now he'll start hitting for 100k. I won't be able to survive that. I do think I'll be able to take him out, but just to be safe, I will use a Echidna. Uh, it'll give me some time to recharge Kushinada if I need it. Hopefully I won't for Hera. So let's just cure, uh, clear out a few useless orbs, heal up a little bit. She does have a light absorb, so it's good that I don't have any of those around. Uh, she likes to bind or change uh, orbs into different colors, like fire to green and dark to light. So it's kind of up in the air what she does. Um, it hits her about 5k to 10k, so I can either try to use my Sonya now or take a hit or two. Uh, the, the, the dangerous thing is below 30% she will use Jupiter Genesis, which does 30k damage. So I pretty much have to predict when to use my Kushinara. So let's just use this now. I'll use a shield just in case. So I have an even split board here. Um, and the best way to do that is just the typical change the world. So let's see how I want to do this. I guess we'll start from the top. Like so. That's a 10 combo, that should be enough. Let's see if we get any sky drops to make the multiplier bigger. And we do, we get a little Kushinata damage in there. And we got her, and a plus egg. Great. So there's Hera Bjork. Um, just a little cautionary note, I really don't recommend running her with Kushinata unless you're really good. I died a couple times trying this out. It's just a brutal dungeon with the skill bind and light absorb. You really don't have too many options. If, you, if I did get skill bound, um, I may not have survived. Actually I wouldn't have survived in that instance. So. Kind of limited on team options. You might be better off with a static multiplier like like Kieran, and just put up with the light absorb uh, for Hera. If you have decent recovery, decent pluses, you should be okay. Um, beyond that, it might be better to run Legend if you are trying to get the drop for her. She's not terribly useful in many teams, but she is out there. So good luck with whatever you try. And I'll see you guys later.